Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics. This is Intersection of Solid 6. We are going to discuss a question that has come for KTU in April 2018. A problem that has come for KTU in April 2018. It says about a hexagonal prism 40 mm side. Hexagonal prism 40 mm side standing on its base on the ground with a side of base parallel to VP or a rectangular face parallel to VP. A hexagonal prism, a hexagonal prism standing on its base on the ground with a side of base or a rectangular face parallel to VP. What is the plan? Plan is a hexagon with one side parallel to XY line. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Plan of the hexagon. Elevation, A dash, B dash and so on. You have drawn the black, black. You have drawn the plan and elevation of the hexagonal prism. Now, this is penetrated by this is penetrated by a square prism like this. How is it? All lateral faces equally inclined to HP and the axis parallel to both planes in such a way that the axis of this prism cut the axis of the vertical hexagonal prism. The axes are not some distance away, they are bisecting or intersecting. So what's the plan? Plan is a hexagon, plan is a rectangle whose side is Side of the rectangle is side of the square into root 2 and length is the axis length. Similarly is the elevation. Elevation is a rectangle whose width is side root 2 and length is axis length. So first of all I draw the elevation. 35 is the side so this is 35 into root 2 and the plan also is 35 into root 2. This is 35 into root 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash. Plan and elevation of the hexagonal prism by intersected by the horizontal square prism. The NQ is actually not necessary. Whenever their axes are intersecting and if the objects are about symmetry, when the objects are about symmetry about the center line, NQ is not necessary. In the video of 5, in the video of 5, for in the case of a triangular prism, in the case of a triangular prism, what will be the shape? What will be that shape? What will be the orientation? The triangular prism is not symmetric. Whereas the square prism is symmetric. So in this cases, in this sort of cases, NV is not necessary. So I am not drawing the NV this time. There is nothing wrong if you draw, but that is a waste of time, I will tell you. Okay. Now let us mark the points where the horizontal edges of the square prism, horizontal square prism, cut the vertical prism. This is P1, this is P1, this is P2, this is P3. This is P4. Similarly, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. You can connect them. You can connect them to represent the intersection curve in the plan. So these lines become dotted because it is not more visible. It is inside the vertical prism. The horizontal edges of the square prism that are inside the vertical hexagonal prism are not visible. So they are dotted. When you come to the elevation, P1 will give you P1 dash here and P3 dash here and on this projector through P2 which passes through P4 you will get what P2 dash as well as P4 dash. Similar argument Q1 dash here, Q3 dash here and the projector through Q2 will give you Q2 dash as well as Q4 dash. They coincide. You can connect them P1 dash, P2 dash. P2 dash, P3 dash, P3 dash, P4 dash, P4 dash, P1 dash behind, which is not visible. Q1 dash, Q2 dash, Q2 dash, Q3 dash, Q3 dash, Q1, Q4 dash, Q4 dash, Q1 dash behind, which is not visible. As a result of which, this become dotted because the horizontal prism that is inside the vertical prism is not visible. Edges are not visible. So these are dotted. Of the vertical prism, this disappear. Why? They are removed. When it is penetrated, they are removed. So they are to be either removed or as I told you earlier, have to be kept very very light as concession lines. You have got both two options. So this side will be visible, this side will be visible. Okay? Very simple question. Very very simple question. This is similar to intersection of solids 1, video 1, where a square prism is penetrated by a square prism so that their axis intersect. It's very similar. The difference between this standing hexagonal prism and a standing vertical square prism is instead of this angle 
120 degrees in hexagonal prism, in square prism it is 90 degrees. That's all the difference. So this light, this lines are slightly that this curve, this lines instead of becoming inclined like this, becoming less inclined. That's all. Become less inclined. That's all. This question also can have the other options: the horizontal prism going a little bit away from the axis of the vertical prism, then some more distance away from the axis of the vertical prism so that it goes out. Such possibilities are there, but I have not seen much questions belonging to that category. You can think of those questions if you have got any, any, any doubt you can uh, discuss with me in the chat box. I hope it is clear. Thank you.